Okay, so I received in the mail from a fellow YouTuber a um, a replacement uh, X4 for the Zenith Royal 51 here. I've already gone ahead and taken the chassis out of it. Okay, and here's a close-up shot of the transistor with the collector emitter and base showing the collector is tied to the case. In this, in the chassis here, the transistor we're going for is this one right here. Okay, again, it's that one right there. And this is tight quarters. We have a, a, a double layered board and things are really crammed in there and it's four legs and the tab is it's just facing this resistor right here. And I'll show you the transistor. It's just a little thing. And that's the G the GT three oh nine A. I still have my uh, heat sink we used to use years ago on these uh, transistors and I just thought of, I remembered that didn't want to use a lot of heat on germanium transistors but any any event I'm gonna try and get this out of here I've been dreading doing this I never liked these transistors when they were out and I still don't like them and the leading and stuff is it can be confusing and uh, the Japanese had uh, I think spaghetti tubing on theirs they would do yellow green and red and nobody knew what yellow, green, or red was, but uh, nonetheless, uh, that's how they did it. This is, like I say, it's in there pretty, pretty tight with four leads. So let's see, get it out of there, and then we're going to have to try to guess at which is which here. This diagram shows the case here, but I have to look into this a little more. But let's get it out of here first. Step one. Okay, so I don't mess this up. I've gone and marked. The emitter is green. The base is blue. The collector is red, and the black is the shield. Little dots there. And what I did is I just took the picture and I just looked at the top of the transistor and read it backwards. So it should be emitter. And a counterclockwise should be emitter from the tab, emitter, base, collector, case. And that's looking from the top. Emitter, base, collector, case. Okay, I've gone ahead and marked... These are horrible pictures, but I think I have, I only want to do this once. I've marked with little sharpies there, the base, collector, and emitter. And I've also gone ahead and done that on the transistor itself. And I've gone ahead and marked the, the board, according to that diagram, and the top of the transistor. And I've also metered on the schematic. It may be overkill, but I've even gone and colored the leads of the transistor. Red, green, and blue. So we won't make any mistakes there. And then we'll go ahead and hopefully desolder this and get that one in. Here again, I used my magnifier here. Uh, good tools. And my solder braid. And there's still some remaining color there. Remnants of the green, the red, and the blue. So the blue is up top, red is to the left, and green is to the right, and the case was going to ground up there. So we're going to flip it over and lift this out of here. I've taken uh, and moved the leads on each one, so we'll just Again, that tab is facing towards the battery compartment. One should come right out one handed. Oh, 
Oh, let me see what the hold yeah, The reason I'm having trouble lifting this out is they must have uh, crimped or flared the ends of these legs, even though it's desoldered there. Especially on the, the ground, the, the leads are flared out and flattened. So I'm going to just, I've been trying to squish them and get them out. Maybe that was a production thing where they would make sure the transistors didn't fall out. Let me get that out of there. I know you can't see that, but they've literally flared the ends of these transistors so even though it wasn't soldered in there it would not come out it was mechanically held in there now it, it should just lift out oh, terrible trying to read these things and anyway, we have our new one. We're color coded and we're ready to go in there. Okay, and just because I've always been told, uh, even on a uh, new old component, I've gone ahead and just scraped those leads shiny with my Exacto blades. They're still color coded, and I've got the dots on the top, so I'm just gonna green, blue, and red. Okay, in. it's in there, and literally, I had to use every piece of that transistor lead. If I went down it would touch the can. The case would touch the can. I couldn't go to either side because there's resistors there and there's some other component there so there's there, and then there's the other IF can so there's like no room in there for this thing. And I did label the bottom of the board incorrect. I have my green, blue, red and it does follow along with the old transistor in my diagram here. But the bottom of the board I, I mislabeled. Green was over there. Green and blue I had reversed. That's the case that I'm not using. So let's try it out and see if it works. Well, I turn it on and I only have audio. No stations. So I'll recheck my work on the collector, emitter, and base. We have to put the old one in to try. Let's take a look. Okay, this time I'm going to tack it in the bottom and I am going to reverse the leads. I'm going to go by what I had on the bottom according to the SAMs over here, which is B, C, and E according to this. I'm going to try it one more time, hooked up not the way the old transistor was in, going by this old transistor here. I'm going to do it by the cladding, following the cladding to the 680 ohm and the schematic and where everything goes so this is this should be right okay I've installed the batteries I'm using the headphone adapter here as my audio and oh, it's working So now, there's no antenna on this FM. I don't know which is AM or FM here. This must be FM. Okay, so now we've got to get this transistor in the correct way from the top. Okay, green is up the top, blue is down the bottom. I mean, again, just enough lead there to get that in there without touching anything, and it's still so close to everything. You can't move it anywhere. It's got to stay just like that. Batteries are in. Oh, and I have nothing again. Okay, I can't keep doing this. This cladding isn't going to survive. I've gone ahead and put the transistor back on the bottom. Okay, I'll leave it just so. I'm going to take it, have a good mind, I'll leave it on the bottom of the board. I'm going to take it one more time 
put it in the top and mark my connections a third time. Okay, the transistor is in the top of the board for the third time. I think I had one of the AA pen light batteries in backwards the last time. So I checked it. If this doesn't work, it's going on the bottom of the board. Get the batteries in, the amplifiers on. If these leads aren't touching or shorting, it's a miracle, I'm telling you. Our FM antenna over here. Okay, it's in and it's working. This can't drive the amplifier either. Let's see what else we got here. I'll just put back and see what it what it's like AM okay. there's our transistor mounted in right there okay there's our transistor mounted in I didn't even check to see if it was touching any of the transformers but no it's it's all set but I had to reverse two of the leads I had to re reverse the base and the emitter I had backwards and then the second time I think I had a battery installed backwards so no, is an extremely big public service yeah, well, it's, it's one of the more fun, it's one of the fun things our students and volunteers and interns get need to get, you know get... okay I'm still trying to see where I went wrong with this diagram but uh, I assume this was looking at it from the bottom. Perhaps this is looking at it from the top. This should be looking at it from the bottom, but in any event, we're all back together and let's go down. Okay. That's ninety six right there. The local station. Let's switch over now. AM. Kill some of these lights. Yeah. Switch over to AM here. For the finest search technology in the world. Okay, we'll get away from the computer over there and tune the AM. Five. 